Noise. What's good, y'all? My name is Omar from DeviantNoise.com, the best place on the planet to learn how to make music if you're a complete beginner. And in this video, I want to talk to you about the three best piano lessons online. Now, we've got a complete written buyer's guide. It's a companion guide to this video at DeviantNoise.com. There's also a link in the description below, so make sure you check that out. It's got a ton more detail than I'm able to get to in this video, including our rankings for each of the programs, the rating criteria, and how everything stacks up. We've also got in-depth reviews of each of the programs that we talk about here in this video. So definitely check all of those out at DeviantNoise.com. So let's get right into it. These are the top three online piano lessons that we've come across on the internet. Our top pick is Floki. Coming in at number two are the Hear and Play Music Theory Bundle courses. And in third place, Melodics. So let's break down why each of these made the list and why they're in the positions that they are. Now, if you want to try out any of these programs, there are affiliate links in the description below. We'd really appreciate if you use them if you decide to try any of these out. It really helps out the channel and the website quite a bit. Before we get into everything else, I want to say my personal favorite online piano lesson program was Here and Play's 300 page How to Play Piano by Ear for Starters piano book tutorial. It's the first online piano lesson that I ever took. It wasn't even online, it was a physical book that they sent me. But after that, I fell in love with Here and Play's products. I love their approach, I love their teaching method, I love what they teach. But it's not our number one pick. And the reason for that is we don't think that the Here and Play bundle is the course best suited for most people that want to learn how to play piano. I think most people that want to learn how to play piano, they want to learn some of the theory behind making music, but they also want to be able to play their favorite songs. They want to be able to pick up a piece of sheet music of a song that they love, they will open it up and start playing it fluently. And because of that, Floki came in as our number one pick for that. Now there's a lot of options out there that are similar to Floki, that are not similar to Floki, but we found that Floki was the number one lesson for most people that want to learn how to play the piano. So what are some of the criteria that we looked at when we were looking at all the different piano lessons out there? So the first one was was how easy the course was to use. Was it really difficult to get into? Was it difficult to understand? Was it handheld? Was it not? We also looked at the comprehensiveness of the course. So how much of the theory and lessons did it cover? Did it cover really everything under the sun? Or was this more specifically tailored to a certain type of lesson? Then we took a look at the lesson quality. So how well were the lessons shot or recorded? Did they look good? Did they flow good? Was everything up to par in terms of modern technology? What we kind of expect from products nowadays. We also took a look at the affordability ability of all of the programs and we took a look at any standout features that each program might have had and then we ranked them based on this out of a score of 10 and then every one of these programs got a score which you can check out in the buyer's guide at deviantnoise.com again links in the description below but let's talk about our number one pick flow key this is an online piano lesson that we think is probably the best option for most people that want to learn how to play the piano it's $19.99 a month or around $120 for the entire year and what it is is a downloadable app either on your desktop. I think you can use the website as well, but they've got a desktop app and they've got a mobile app. And it's a series of beginner lessons, but mostly it's a large song library. And it's an interactive tool that you can play along with to learn all of these songs. So you download the app onto your smartphone and as you play the piano, all of the songs that you're playing from the library, it follows along with you as you play. It recognizes the notes that you're playing. So it's an interactive learning experience. Now you can get a free account to try out the program and they also have a seven day trial of their premium subscription, which also includes the entire song library plus all of the theory lessons that they go over. With the free account, you only get a limited number of lessons to try out. So in terms of ease of use, it's really easy to set up and use. You just download the app. There's no hooking anything up and you can actually play along with any piano you have, whether it's a MIDI keyboard or a digital piano or an electric piano or an acoustic grand piano or an upright piano, whatever you've got, the app actually uses your smartphone microphone or your laptop microphone to recognize the notes that you're playing as you're playing them. So you don't need any special equipment. All you need is a phone or a laptop and your piano and you're good to go. It's really easy to download, set up and use, but it is not a very comprehensive course. Now they do have beginner theory lessons where it goes over the notes and scales and things like that, but it's not an entirely comprehensive course on piano theory and how music is put together or anything like that. All of the beginner lessons are, you know, short, concise lessons interspersed with some exercises, but you don't really delve deep into anything. So it's not a comprehensive course. Having said that, it does have one of the largest just song libraries available. There's over 1,500 songs. So in terms of comprehensiveness of song material that you can learn, the sheet music of the songs is pretty comprehensive. The quality of the lessons is really high. The user flow is really good. The video lessons are shot really well. And the exercises and the sort of interactive experience is really high quality as well. 
I think the best feature about Floki is that it's, there's a couple of best features. Now, there's other programs that are like this, but we found that Floki was probably the best implementation of sort of the interactive follow you along as you play learning experience. There's other programs out there, but Floki was definitely our favorite in how they implemented that sort of interactive lesson platform. But also, the song library is really dope because there's multiple levels of difficulty for each song. So you might have, and they're all popular songs, modern music that you might have heard. So, and the, of course, they have the classics as well but if you have a particular song they have like four different levels so you can play that song as a novice player which is a little easier to do you can play it as an intermediate a pro whatever you want however your difficulty level is and you can come back to songs and it'll just kind of keep on adding on to the songs more complexity the more you go up in level of difficulty so that's a really dope feature but uh, there are some drawbacks to it um it's again it's not a really comprehensive theory course so if what you want to do is learn how to play by ear or you really want to dig deep into the theory of piano music and diatonic harmony and things like that. This is not the best course for that by far. You're going to learn the absolute fundamentals, but you're really not going to go beyond that. This is really more of a program to learn how to play piano music. So there's no real focus on kind of playing by ear or learning the uh, real fundamentals of piano music theory, learning how music is put together or anything like that. It's not really the best for that. Now the app itself is cool and like I said, it's probably the best implementation that I've found of the interactive learning method, but it can be kind of general and it can kind of not work properly sometimes. It's not perfect 100% of the time. And it's actually really tough to skip lessons. So like if you've already done a lesson but the app doesn't recognize that you completed that lesson and you want to skip over it the next time you come back, it's really difficult to just skip over the lesson. There's no skip button. You got to go all the way to the end of the lesson. It's whatever. They could do that much better. But for most people that want to learn how to play the piano and do it in a traditional way where you're learning sheet music, you're learning your favorite songs that way by sight reading, Floki is probably the best choice for you. Now our runner-up and of course my favorite online piano lesson is the Hear and Play Piano Workbook or their Music Theory Bundle which includes the workbook and a bunch of other courses. So this is a completely digital course. It's based on uh, written workbooks, audio courses, and video courses. All of it is downloadable. It's $19 for the workbook itself or $69. Nice one time for the entire course bundle and you get a bunch of other courses as well. And this is the best course for you if you're somebody that's interested in learning how to play piano by ear. So if your goal is to be able to sit down at a piano and improvise something really ill or just, you know, learn a song by listening to it and listening to the chord changes and things like that and picking it up that way rather than having to read sheet music all the time, this is probably one of the best courses for that. Here and Play's method of teaching is one of my favorites. I fell in love with the company a long time ago and I'm a big ass advocate of all of their products, even though I haven't tried all of their products. I just know their teaching method is one of my favorites. So if you're somebody that's a songwriter or if you're somebody that wants to learn how to improvise, especially like jazz styles and gospel styles and things like that, then Here and Play is the best choice for you. They do have a really, you know, big focus on gospel music and jazz music, but the concepts that they teach is applicable to basically any type of music. So if you want to learn songs just by listening to them and then being able to pick up on the chord changes and play them yourself, this is a great way to learn how to do that. The reason I like it so much is that they take those really high level music theory concepts that can seem kind of overwhelming and they boil it down as much as they can to just kind of drive home the main point rather than dwelling on the theory of it. They just tell you how it is how it works. Now in terms of ease of use, it's not that easy to use. It's completely self-guided. There's no handheld approach. Go from this lesson to this lesson to this lesson. You're basically given a bunch of content and you're left on your own. So if you're somebody that is really good at self-learning and doesn't need a really guided approach to things, this would be good for you. But if you're somebody that wants to be kind of taken by the hand step by step, this might not be the most comfortable option for you. You might be better going with something else. In terms of comprehensiveness, this is definitely not the most comprehensive program out there. But in terms of theory, it is much more comprehensive than something like Floki. It really delves deep into all of the theory that you need to know to be able to play piano by ear, but it doesn't, you know, really dig deep into the theoretical sort of underpinning of the concept. Just boils down all of the concepts into something that's easy to digest and understand. You learn what it is and how to use it, but you don't really get into the mechanics of it all too, too much. So even though it's very comprehensive, it's not the most comprehensive theory course that you might find out there. 
But that's also the reason why it's the most affordable option on the list. It's $19 for the piano workbook alone, a one-time fee, or it's $69 one-time fee for the entire piano bundle, which includes courses on advanced chords and different things like that. But it's definitely not a traditional approach to playing piano. If you want a traditional sort of fundamental based uh, sight reading sheet music based course, this isn't for you. They do teach you how to read, how to sight read and you know what the notes are on the staff and everything like that. But this is more about playing piano by ear, being able to songwrite, being able to improvise, that kind of stuff. There are no standout features other than the method of teaching. I think that's probably the standout feature of the hear and play stuff is their method of teaching is really dope. But there's no bells, there's no whistles. It's just the content you're left on your own. You know, sometimes the best restaurants are the hole in the wall down the street rather than the five star Michelin rated whatever, whatever. And it's a little difficult to use because uh, there's a lot of memorization that has to take place. You got to memorize all of the scales. You got to memorize the chords. There's a lot of practice involved. So it's a uh, pretty intense program in that you really have to be disciplined with it and you really have to put effort into learning with this method but it is one of my favorite methods to learn and coming in at number three is melodics and the reason this is on the list is because this is a great practice tool it's not a traditional piano lesson in any sense of the word very light on theory but it's a great practice tool so melodics is a downloadable desktop app that you download to your computer there's no mobile version but you use a MIDI keyboard and it's an interactive play along sort of experience that helps you perfect your technique and your timing and your rhythm and things like that. It's $19.95 per month or $134.95 per year if you subscribe for the whole year. And it basically consists of a short interactive lessons where you play along with the computer and you progress through all of the lessons kind of like a video game. It's very gamified. So as you play, it'll measure where you're playing each note and it'll give you feedback on whether you were early or late or just on time with the pressing the note. It's a great way to really hone your skills of playing the piano but it's probably not the best approach at learning the theory behind piano or learning popular music that you love but if you're interested in really improving your technique melodics is an invaluable tool in terms of ease of use it's really easy to set up and use if you know how to use a midi keyboard all you got to do is hook it up to your computer download the app sign up you're good to go you can start playing right away if you don't know what a midi keyboard is don't worry about it it's basically a music production keyboard it's a piano that doesn't make any sound by itself it needs to be hooked up to a computer in order to make sound or be of use. In terms of comprehensiveness, it's not comprehensive at all. Like I said, it's really light on theory. It's probably not the best approach to learn traditional piano, but it's a great practice tool. The lesson quality is super high. It's really well designed. It makes you feel like you're playing a video game. The app is really easy to use. The lessons are fun. They're short. They're concise. Some of the lessons are made by popular musicians, which is really dope. And it's very well structured in the path that it takes you. It is more of a handheld approach. You kind of go through the beginner lesson and progress as you complete each lesson and you know exactly where to go next. There are guided paths and everything like that, so that's really cool. So it's not the most affordable option, obviously. It's $19.95 per month or $135 per year, which is more expensive than something like uh, Floki, but Floki is more of an online lesson platform, whereas Melodics is more of a practice tool, in my opinion. So it's not the most affordable option, but it's basically on par with most other online piano lessons or online guitar lessons or singing lessons. A lot of them come in at this price of $19.95 per month. But it's on the list because we feel like it's the best way to practice. So even if you've learned piano another way or you use either Floki or Here and Plays Bundle to learn how to play piano, Melodics is still a great choice if you want to practice your technique. And practice is obviously important. So if you want to make practice easier to do, more fun to do, Melodics is a great option for that. And that's why it's on the list. It's a lot more accurate than something like Floki, even though Floki is an interactive tool and Melodics is an interactive tool because you have to use a MIDI keyboard which is connected directly to the computer with melodics it's a lot more accurate and it can really tell you whether you're early or late with hitting a note and give you feedback on your rhythm and your timing and things like that which is really valuable they have a free trial account it gives you 60 lessons to try out for free and the best part about it is it's super gamified it really looks like a video game it feels like you're playing a video game as you're going through the lessons and it's a great way to practice like I said before probably the best way to practice is the best implementation of making practice fun in my opinion but the big problem with something like Melodics is you need a MIDI keyboard. With Floki, when you're using the interactive app, it can kind of pick up on the notes that you're playing just by using your microphone. With Melodics, you need to have a MIDI keyboard. Most people 
don't have. Only like, you know, beat makers and music producers have that type of stuff. So that kind of sucks, but it does increase the accuracy of the app. So like, you know, it's able to pick up your note movements and your note timings a lot easier because it's connected directly to a computer and there's zero latency. Another thing that it's not great is it's really light on theory. Like I said, it's not the best learning app, but it is a great practice tool. So I wouldn't subscribe to something like Melodics thinking that you're going to get an entire piano education. Melodics actually started off as a finger drumming tool and then it kind of moved into uh, electronic drum kits and piano lessons as well. But it's not your traditional piano tutorial where you're going to learn everything you would in a more traditional sort of lesson. But it is still a pretty dope thing to use every now and then if you want to improve your technique. And that's that. Those are our top three online piano lessons for anybody out there that wants to learn how to play piano, whether you're a beginner or an intermediate player or student. These three options kind of have your basis covered. So for Floki, if you want a traditional piano lesson, which is going to give you the fundamental theory that you need to know and then kind of dive you right into playing songs that you might have heard on the radio, favorite sort of modern popular music, plus the classic stuff in a really fun, easy to use interactive learning experience that's best for you. If you're somebody that wants to learn how to improvise or you're a songwriter or a music producer and you want to learn piano for that, for songwriting or for music creation, Hear and Play, their course bundles are the absolute best for that. And if you're somebody that wants to improve your technique and really hone your playing ability and your timing and your rhythm, Melodics is a great choice for that. So here are some general overall tips for choosing the best online piano lesson platform for yourself. I would say, and this is similar to what I said for our guitar lessons video, I would would say that you should focus on how you want to learn and what you want to learn. So all three of these options and pretty much every other course out there, we've reviewed some other courses beyond these, but you've got one real big choice to make. How do you want to learn? Do you want to learn the traditional route where you read sheet music, you learn all about sight reading, plus some of the fundamentals so that you can dive into songs that you want to learn how to play? Or do you want to dig deeper into those theory topics and really learn how music is put together so that you can improvise or you can learn songs by just listening to them or you want to create your own music and you want to be able to get around on the piano in terms of chord progressions and things like that while songwriting or while beat making then hear and play stuff is the best option for that and if you're somebody that already knows the fundamentals of the piano and you just really want to get better at playing the piano maybe melodics is a good choice for you so really think about how you want to learn and what your learning outcome is don't go based on price mostly because everything is around the same price now i know times are tough and some people might have to make price an issue but if you're fortunate enough to not have to make price an issue don't make price an issue don't go for the cheapest option don't go for the most expensive option thinking it'll be the best either so don't think about price think about how you want to learn and what you want to learn another point on how you want to learn is are you a self-starter like are you very good at self-discipline and really learning that stuff or do you want more of a handheld guided approach do you want more of a gamified approach that's going to kind of make it more interesting to learn and progress through lessons those are all questions you want to ask yourself before buying beyond that you're gonna learn the fundamentals like the absolute fundamentals in all of these courses no matter which one you pick so don't worry about that it really is a matter of what your end goal is one thing i would say is don't get swallowed up into the hype we also reviewed something called playground lessons playground sessions we reviewed that on our site too and it was you know it's got big names behind it harry connick jr quincy jones you know these are all names associated with that program but that's just hype it's you're not really learning from these people they're secret techniques of how to make music it's just kind of a brand so don't get swallowed in by the hype when you're making your decision either now like i said if you want any more details on all of these programs and why they rank the way they do make sure you check out the complete companion buyer's guide for the best online piano lessons at deviantnoise.com there is a link in the description below and if you want to try out any of these programs themselves i've got affiliate links in the description below and if you do want to use any of them i'd really appreciate it if you use those links because it helps out this channel and our website quite a bit and you'd be a really dope person. So I want to hear what you think. Have you ever tried any online piano lessons? What do you think are the best ones? What do you think of our top three lists? Have you used any of them? Leave all of that in the comments below. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts. Now, if you thought this video was useful at all, please hit that thumbs up. If you thought this shit was trash, hit that thumbs down. It's all good. But please subscribe to the channel because we've got more content coming out soon about how to make music for beginners. That's it for me. My name was Omar from DeviantNoise.com, the best place on the planet to learn how to make music. Thank you very much for rocking with me and watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I'm out of here. Peace.